Hello and welcome to the Screen Cloud Digital Menu App Setup Guide. In this video, you will learn how to add the Digital Menu App to your Screen Cloud account, how to create your first digital menu, how to create an attractive image view digital menu, and lastly, how to customize and brand your new menu. If you want a written version of this guide, please head to the link on your screen now. Okay, to begin, log into your Screen Cloud account. Then head to the App Store. Scroll down until you find the Digital Menu app. This will bring up a control panel where you'll be able to create a menu and configure it. Now let's add a title for your menu, for example, Josh's Pizza. Then let's add a subtitle, which can be used for your company tagline or to describe the menu that customers will be looking at, for example, specials. Now, add a category to your menu by selecting the Add Category button. All you need to do is type here and give your category a title, for example, pizza or pasta dishes. Then start adding your menu items here, for example, margarita as the item name. For the description, cheese and tomato sauce on baked dough. It's priced at $9. And there are 870 calories. Select the Add Item button if you want to add more menu items. We use intelligent layouts, so no matter how many items you add, will always display the menu in a beautiful and clear way. Let's fill in the second menu item here. Ham and mushroom for the item name. Then the description, ham and mushroom with cheese and tomato sauce on baked dough. You can add different item sizes. Just select the plus icon to create more sizes. The ham and mushroom comes in a small at $9, then medium at $10, and large for $11. And fill in the calories for each one of the different sizes. So, 910, 930, and 970. Here's a completed menu we prepared earlier. You can feature items to make them stand out to your customers. Just select the featured checkbox next to each item. In this case, I'm going to feature one item from the pizza category and one from the dessert category. All your items and categories can be repositioned by dragging and dropping them to where you want them. Again, our intelligent layout system will automatically keep your menu looking great no matter how you position things. Images are a great way of showing your menu items to customers. To do this, we're going to add some images to this menu we've already created. Let's start by adding images to the menu. Select the upload link, then find the images on your computer. Repeat this for all the menu items. You can show anywhere between one to eight images at a time. To do this, click the customize button at the top and select from the drop down how many images you want to show. Let's start off with one. Then let's try two, then three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Or you can leave it on auto 
and it will automatically show the number of images you have. Once you've finished adding all your items, categories and images, it's now time to customize your menu to give it that look and feel of your brand and stand out from your competitors. Head back to the Customize section, then go to the Appearance section. The menu app comes with a dark theme and a light theme, but you can also create your own custom theme. To make your own theme, choose the Custom Theme option from the drop-down. Let's start off with the logo. Scroll to the Upload link and choose the logo from your computer. It will start uploading automatically. Now let's change the text color to match our brand. Simply click the color selection and use the color picker or type your own hex code. Select the tick button to confirm. You can change the colors of the line break and featured items by editing the accent colors. You can change the background of your menu to a color or an image. Let's first try a color background. It's the same way we edited the text and accent colors. To add a background image, click the upload link and choose the image from your computer. Sometimes your image might be too busy to show your menu text clearly. In that case, we recommend adding an overlay color to the image. You can do this on the image itself or by picking a color by toggling the overlay option. We're going to finish off the menu with a few final touches. I'm going to change the amount of time that it's spent on each page from the default 30 seconds to 50 seconds. I can also change the currency from dollars to pounds or euros. I can also hide currencies altogether if I wanted. Great, that's this tutorial finished. You now have a beautiful digital menu that can be updated easily from anywhere in the world. Before finishing up, I just want to say a big thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or need any help, please check out our knowledge base or get in touch with our support team by emailing support at screen.cloud.